Hey guys, I'm back. Here's another review. This time it's the G.I. Joe Classified series. I finally got my Scarlet from Hasbro Pulse. I think I ordered it back in March, actually. And there she is. Crossbow, knives, tons of knives. I'm gonna bust this one open so we can take a look at the figure. But in the meantime, that's the front of the case. Hasbro logo with the G.I. Joe Classified series. Her name. There's the side of the box. Now the back art is pretty impressive, I must say. Still don't have my classified special edition Hasbro Pulse Snake Eyes. Want to do a review on that. I actually canceled my Cobra Commander because I saw the ones that were coming out at Target. And there's the other side. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. Well, here's the figure out of the case. Not really impressed. She has a weird lean to her that her joints are not too sturdy in the torso area. She, I mean, she just bobbles. You know, literally can just shake it a little bit and she bobbles. So I'm kind of afraid this is not going to set up good in the case. So another thing that Hasbro did not do, kind of like what McFarland does, is the stands. So it doesn't have a stand in, in the case, so we can set them up. She does come with a couple of belt accessories. So one is around her hip. It has a pretty cool gold outline to it or paint effect to kind of set it off so it's not just black all the way around. Her hair is pretty cool, it has a little highlight in the back, as you can see there. She's got her bow and arrows for her crossbow. Pretty sweet, like, gauntlet is the best way to, to put it with some ninja stars, it looks like. Her glove. Nice paintwork on there, shoulder, really good looking figure. Cool little shoulder pad, kind of looks like Captain America. She did come, like I said, with a couple of accessories, so a lot of knives. Rambo-esque. She actually has three of them. This one has like a different you can see the handles kind of like bent a little. And then her crossbow, which I hope I didn't break. There's the gun portion of it. And there's the arrow portion of it. So it goes together somehow. It does have like a little lock in there. There we go. So it does fit. I'm gonna end up breaking this thing, I feel. Her little hand, you can see, has like a little grip feature to it. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult to put a freaking gun in a G.I. Joe fan. There we go. So it fits perfectly in there. And I'll put the crossbow portion of it. So it does have pretty good possibility, but you see how the torso is already leaning? I mean, this thing, look at, it, look at this. The other joints are all pretty good. I mean, you can feel them, but that hip gives her that, oh God, this is gonna drive me nuts, man. It just like bobbles and then her head kind of tilts cockeyed. So that's gonna be my biggest concern. I really hope the rest of these don't do that because that's gonna be really upsetting. 
Thank God I pre-ordered the ones from Walmart, the three and a quarter seal, and set those up. It's not too bad. I love the paint. The boots look awesome. Let me take a look at those. It's a pretty sweet figure. Glad to add it to my Joes, but this hip thing, I'm gonna have to stuff something in her hip. See how much room there is? And she just kind of teeters. Oh, man, that's gonna annoy me so much. Right, there you go. That is good old Scarlet. G.I. Joe Classified Series. Like I said, there's a, a lot of them that are out there. I know that Target just did a pre-order on Beachhead, one of the Cobra guys. I forgot who it was. It's like a Cobra a Trooper. Baroness comes with a motorcycle. And then there's one other that I can't remember. Well, anyway, those sold out in two seconds with this whole bot nonsense that's going on. But, um, yeah. Look forward to doing a couple more reviews coming up in the next few days. So, I'll be doing this one. And then I got a couple of my Hot Wheels to do. And then I'll probably go old school and break something out of the case. So, just a quick iteration. One of the eyes can go in here. Another one you can put in her hip and in her hand so that all of her guns, are actually all of her accessories, including her gun and crossbow slash knives, have a space to go. So it's really cool how they set that up that you can actually put them in there. But that one doesn't seem to fit too well. Let's try a smaller one. There we go. So that fits pretty sweet in there. And then... Let's take a look, let's move her arm. You see how her head kind of just naturally goes tilted like that? So I'm assuming the ball joint in there just sucks. Or maybe I just got a crappy figure, who knows. But, all right guys, thanks for watching and until next time, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll be back soon, see ya.